What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I'm going to be sharing all the beta details that we know about so far for Infinite Warfare multiplayer. First off, we have the date and time, that's probably the most important part. There are going to be two weekends of the beta. First one is this weekend coming up, so October 14th through 17th, and then the one is the next one is the weekend after, which is October 21st to 24th. And both of those will start at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Now the first weekend is going to be PlayStation only. So Xbox users, you only get the one weekend of the beta, whereas PlayStation users get both weekends. So we get the first weekend as well as the second weekend, whereas Xbox only gets the second weekend. And there will be no beta for PC, unfortunately. As for how to get into the beta, as of right now, you do have to pre-order the game, and it has to be through the right retailer. There are some retailers that aren't supporting this, so if you pre-order through them, you won't get a beta code. But I believe most retailers or most of the reputable re retailers are giving out beta codes. So if you order through there, you should get an email from wherever you pre-ordered and you'll get a beta code. If you pre-order directly from the PlayStation or Xbox store, then I believe it will just download automatically for you. You won't need a code for that. It will just work pretty much automatically. I don't know if there's going to be a pre-download for it yet, but uh, we'll see as we get closer to the date. For those of you guys that haven't pre-ordered, there are likely going to be a lot of beta codes floating around, and there is still going to be a chance for you to get into the beta. So don't worry too much if you haven't pre-ordered and don't have the ability to pre-order. There will be tons of codes floating around on Twitter and on the internet, and who knows, they might even open up the beta like they did with Black Ops 3 beta. They might open it up for, to everybody as like a little bonus surprise thing, because I believe for Black Ops 3, they had it so you did have to pre-order, at least that's what they said coming up to the beta. And then it was basically the people that pre-ordered got the beta a little bit early, and then they opened it up to everybody eventually. I don't know if they're going to be doing that for Infinite Warfare, but I have a feeling they might do that. As for what's going to be into the beta, we have three maps. We have Frontier, Frost, and Throwback. And at COD XP, I got to play two out of these three maps. I didn't get a chance to play Frontier, even though it was available in that COD XP build. But I did play Frost and Throwback quite a bit. I really like the way Frost played. Throwback was a little bit weird. Maybe I just have to get used to it a little bit. And Frontier, like I said, haven't played, but I did see some gameplay on it, and it looks like a pretty good map, so I'm definitely excited for those. I also think they're likely going to add another map as the beta goes on, just as one of those little surprises to keep people, like, coming back to the beta or get people really interested in the beta. So, as of right now, just the three maps, but I feel like they're going to add a fourth or maybe even a fifth map, because we did have access to a couple more maps in COD XP. So maybe they'll bring back like the terminal map and I think there might have been one more map if I remember correctly that they might bring back later on in the beta. Another thing that's been confirmed is we will only have access to three out of the six known combat rigs for the beta. Or at least that's what they're saying for now. Again, they might add more as the beta goes on just to really keep people's interest and get them really excited and hyped for the game. But as of right now, we're going to have access to Warfighter, Merc, and Synaptic. And that's it. We're not going to have access to the other ones. If you guys are interested in seeing more about these combat rigs, I will leave links to each one of these on the screen, so just click that and you guys can see exactly what these combat rigs do. For game modes, we're only going to have access to four game modes. The standard Team Deathmatch, we've got Kill Confirmed, Domination, and then the brand new game mode Defender is going to be in this beta. So we get access to those four game modes. I don't think they're going to be adding other game modes. Uh, unlike the maps and the combat rigs, I think they're probably going to just end up sticking to these four game modes, Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, Domination, and Defender. One last thing that was mentioned is mission teams will be available in the beta build of the game. So mission teams, I did a full commentary talking about what they are. Basically, each mission team, you choose your team, and each team will have its own unique challenges to work towards at, at any given time. And those unique challenges will give unique rewards that are special for that team. But another thing that was also confirmed after I made that video is apparently you can change your mission teams between games. So whenever you want, really, you can change your mission team and therefore you can basically do all of the challenges, it seems. And mission teams are going to be included into the beta version of the game, or at least maybe like a limited, uh, limited portion of the mission teams will be available in the beta build. I doubt we're going to get absolutely everything available to that because a lot of the customization type stuff they tend to keep for the final build of the game. They do want to keep some surprises. They don't want to give it all out. So it's likely that we're going to see some little bits of mission teams, but probably not the whole thing. As for weapons, they haven't given us a weapon list or anything. It's likely we're going to have a limited number of weapons to use. They're probably not going to give us every single one of the guns in the game, but maybe they will because they want to work on balancing and stuff. We don't know at this point. I doubt we'll have access to any variants or any sort of variant system. 
it's likely just going to be the base guns, but again, I could be wrong on that one. So there we have it. That's everything we know so far about the beta that's going to be coming this weekend, as well as next week on, on PlayStation and Xbox One. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.